Geralt's Game is a Netflix psychological thriller based on the novel by Stephen King and it is directed and written by Mike Flanagan, who is more famous for Hush and Oculus and the excellent Ouija Origin of Evil. And he's got another great movie on his hands. I'm not familiar with the novella, like it usually happens, I know, but this was a damn fine psychological thriller. It is intense throughout and Mike Flanagan knows that to make a good horror thriller movie you don't need scares, you need interesting characters and only then you do find tension inside the story because here I cared about the main character, about Jesse, played by Carla Gugino. The story is about her and her husband, their love is fading away so they go to a cabin outside where no one is able to reach them he ties her down, they flirt, they try to have sex, and he gets a heart attack. And now she's stuck, cuffed to the bed, and she can't escape. And the premise alone is incredibly intriguing in my opinion. I love this in closed thrillers, captivity thrillers, where everyone doesn't know how to escape a certain situation, like in 127 hours. And here, it goes far beyond just being a captivity thriller. It becomes a very interesting character study focusing on this woman. The entire situation that she's in is a strong metaphor of the situation of many women in the world. Women who are objectified, women who just are used as props by men to satisfy their sexual desires and nothing more. They're blank slates. It's it was hard to watch in a couple of sequences, more for the emotional turmoil that's going on. And Carla Gugino does a fantastic job, she is truly excellent. And she has a dual performance in this movie that is uh, pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. And Bruce Greenwood, who plays her husband, Gerald, he also appears in this movie. Even though he's dead, he... she goes insane and she starts seeing visions of him. And it is is fantastic and everyone in this film is fantastic, even though it's mostly them. It is a tight movie, it is very fast, it is not gory except for one very hard to watch scene. It is wonderfully shot and just a ton of fun to watch. A lot of people complained about the ending and uh, let's say supernatural element to the story. I liked it. It made sense in the overall in the over with the overall themes of this story and I've read what the actual novella is about and this is pretty faithful apparently so I like it I like it. it's not for everyone it's a let's say feel-good ending kind of thing but I liked it I really enjoyed it and honestly if you have Netflix definitely watch Geralt's Game it is one of the best Netflix movies I've seen one of the tightest best thrillers of the year and another great entry in Mike Flanagan's filmography so Here's hoping that 1922 doesn't suck next month, or in a couple of weeks. But still guys, have you watched Geralt's Game and have you read the novella? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching, if you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.